Today, I want you to understand that Nigeria is, an, is already Islamic State and they are gradually, gradually injecting it into the system from Abuja down to the southern Nigeria. For that reason, I want you people to listen to this video. A young Igbo man who lived in my own state came to my office crying so desperately raised by the government why his two hotels and his father's hotel which he had we have been to do and all his properties seized including his gas he told me there was no place to compensate, but there were a few of selling beer in my neighborhood. I thought that was bad, and I tried to reach the government a number of times. I couldn't. Then, about two weeks ago, he rushed to my office. I said that Shishima was in town. And Shishima can help him get fair deal from the incumbent government, the current government. But all he needs is my going with him to the to Shishima. And begging Shishima to help. So David will rescue his life. What about those who may not have access to this man? Have you all thought about it? What about the business people, the Igbo business people, that their business have been destroyed and they don't have access to Okwadike so that Okwadike can now follow them and go to start begging Fulani? To do business in your Nigeria. Okay? Am I communicating? What about poor people that Fulani have rendered homeless, useless? Opadike, who is going with them to meet Shetima to bear? The same stupidity exhibited by, by Hausa peasants that enabled Fulani to take Sokoto from them, that enabled Fulani to take Katsina from them, that enabled Fulani to even Kano from them. Every house or land is occupied either by a Fulani MA or a Fulani government. Some of you don't want to reason, you don't ever ever learn that the main aim of Fulani is to conquer your land and enslave you. Look at how some people today, as I wrote yesterday, they are worse than a discarded tissue paper. They are worth nothing. Only their language is what is relevant in their lives. Everything else is lost. The, all of you are repeating the exact same mistakes that the house has made. That is why they are in trouble. And that is why they can never ever come out of it. They are all suffering from what I would an advanced version of the Stockholm Syndrome. Can you imagine that these people came into their land and took it over? and they cannot do anything about it. Hausa is gone. It took Fulani very many years before they came out of their shell to say we are Fulani. Remember before, many years ago, they said we are Hausa Fulani. We are Hausa Fulani. We are, because that time, their, uh, their subjugation of the Hausa race hasn't been completed. Now they have completed it. Have they not completed it? And what is happening right now? I ask you what is happening now. Fulani have now come out to tell you we are Fulani people. Is that not what they are saying now? They are not telling you we are Fulani. No more house are Fulani. What does that tell you? That the house are raised no longer exists. Do you want the same thing to happen to you? Do you want the same thing to happen to your families? To your villages? Do you want your towns, let's say Womosho, to be renamed into your Fulani name? Do you want Tunisia to answer a Fulani name? Forget all the nonsense about unity of Nigeria. All they are uniting against is your common interest. 
If one can succeed in begging Shetima for this one person, who is going to beg other people? This is Nigeria, where they say Obi want to become president. How is Obi going to change the evil people that are doing hotel business in the north so that they will continue to sell their beer? Did you get the point? Is Obi going to change northern Nigeria and remove the Sharia law that made them to demolish hotels that indeed will build in the north? That made Obadi Ike to come and lament on social media of how Igbo, Igbo man run to him and they was committing suicide. Suicide! Obadi Ike said, the guy was about to commit suicide. And that person are the people like Obi Kubana. Obi Kubana, you see him now, he is Galadenti. He has money. Okay? <laughs> He has money. And tell them to come and support Biafra. All of them will be doing, you know, a Mapanda Ebu. Okay, we are going to get this Biafra. We are going to get this Biafra. I need to find. It's going to be fine. Those people that has money and they have not supported this Biafra. I am telling you the fact. When Biafra, when this Biafra, you will pay fine. I can calculate it. Even the penny, everything if you are making will calculate it, you are going to pay fine. Or, or poor people contribute to char one, one naira to get the Afra buy arms and ammunition to fight. Ebu ta ineko, ebu obi kubana, ebu this one and that one. When the Afra come, go and fight so that the Afra will not come. Because now, when obi kubana when we kill Abuja and they are in the court, are you aware of that? You think you are going to win Fulani? You think you are going to let me show you? You think you are going to defeat Fulani? You don't? You don't know what is coming. You're going to defeat Fulani. Think that when they go to court, they are already implementing Islamic law in Abuja. The law in Abuja. The same thing, Okwadike, is now going to kneel down. To Shetima to beg Shetima is the same thing that they are now planning to, to do in Abuja. Unless you prefer epileptic um, a power supply, unless you prefer to live your whole life without running water, unless you want to live in abject poverty and deprivation, your only alternative is a revolution. Let nobody discourage you. All the countries of the world doing very, very well. They all went through a revolution. You must go through it. If you don't go through it, you can never ever survive. As a people, Flanagan will take you over. As simple as that. This very day, we are making it known to the whole world that the Muslim extremist dictatorship masquerading as a secular democratic government must be demolished. It must be demolished for you to survive. They have to be demolished. If you do not demolish them, your lives will end very, very miserable. I assure you. I want to inform you that the dragon flag is still high. Very, very high. Flying. All over Biafra. So because dragon is a very significant create in this movement we are going to take our first surgeon from the head of the dragon those who say that they are going to bring people I want you to know that if you go and align yourself with the criminals against the other, you will go down.
we have entered a different stage of this movement. Our focus now is to make sure that we defend Biafra in 2023. Those who are not part of us now, they are going to come as time goes on. I want you all to understand that we have crossed the Rubicon.